I will be back with you soon, but right now he hosts CNN's The Lead with Jake Tapper and State of the Union with Jake Tapper. Guess who? Jake Tapper. <laughs> Jake Tapper. <laughs> Jake Tapper, how are you? Look, everybody, it's Jake Tapper. Okay, so... I'm sure people have told you this before, but you know you have the best porn name ever. <laughs> Jake Tapper. Okay. So... I'm glad you're familiar with my earlier work. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... So you have a lot of new fans, which is great. You deserve it. Yeah, you're doing a great job over there uh, speaking truth to crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's one thing to talk to power, but then this is a different job. And tell us a little bit about how you would say your job has changed since Donald Trump becomes president, because you certainly sound different than I ever saw you for the many years I've watched you. Well, you've been covering politicians for a long time. Politicians lie. Uh, it didn't... Yeah. It wasn't invented on January 20th. No. Uh, you were just talking about how the Democrats weren't forthright about Obamacare. We could go back to the Iraq War and on and on. Uh, I've never really seen this level of falsehood. It's different. Just it's quantitatively. Completely new. Um, because it's not just if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. It's right. conspiracy theories it's... based on nothing right. that have uh, members of his own party distancing themselves from him. Um, as, and it's combined with an attempt to discredit the entire fourth estate, the entire media. We're all fake news, all of us, except for Fox and Friends. You take it personally? I, I don't take it personally. I, I didn't like it. The, the thing that offended me the most personally was when he went after um, John McCain for not being a war hero. Um, that bothered me just as somebody who's... <laughs> and then when Senator McCain started asking questions about the Yemen raid and the White House suggested that how dare he, anyone, question right. the, this military mission. Senator John McCain is the chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee. Sure. Actually, literally his job <laughs> to question a military operation. Yeah. So there's this effort to undercut, you know, the fourth estate, legislative oversight, the judicial branch, so-called judges. So this combination of falsehoods, three to five million illegal votes, yeah. Ted Cruz's dad helped kill Kennedy. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I it's could go on, on I mean, and on. They're I know. laughing. This is, I know. this is just the news. I, mean, I know. This is, it's just the news. <laughs> these and, are just facts. And um, when I watch you, and you do, you know, call that out, I'm like, go, Jake, go. But then I... <laughs> but, but then I realized that... That was you. Yeah, that was me. You know, that. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's, it's a terrible conundrum you're in because, you know, the more you call it out, the more his fans say you're being biased. Right. You know, the more they see you do that, they go, oh, well, Trump's right. He's in the tank for the other side. Because right. everything is so politicized, there is no truth for anybody left. A and so the more you actually do your job well, the more you're not given credit by the people who you actually need to convince. But I refuse to buy into you that paradigm. Quit. I refuse to <laughs> buy into that paradigm because the truth of the matter is that there's no bias when it comes to fact and facts and there's no bias when it comes to decency. <laughs> And well, yeah, I mean... It is empirically indecent to make fun of the disabled. Yes. You don't have to be a Democrat or a Republican or an independent or whatever, a socialist, a, a libertarian. That's just indecent. Yeah. My children know I, better than that. Yeah, I know. No, I, I always think about that book, Everything I Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Yeah. He violates every rule. <laughs> Don't lie. Don't accuse people of things they're not guilty of. Don't boast. Pay your taxes. Serve your country. Don't be a racist. Don't insult, like you say, the handicapped people and other people who are not as lucky to be as great looking as you are, Donald. <laughs> I, I, I worry that if half the country wants this guy to be president, we do need the UN to step in or the United Federation of Planets or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway, see, here's the thing. I think a lot of people voted for Trump not because of that stuff, but despite that stuff. I think that they voted for him. Oh, yes, for you're right. Because I don't think they voted for him. They heard the Access Hollywood tape and they thought, oh, yeah, I want that in the White House. Right. I think right. I think that they didn't like Hillary Clinton for you're a whole right. bunch of reasons that I'm not going to cite here because Barney Frank will come and hit me. <laughs> and they wanted 
Washington to do something for them. It's not empirically wrong to say Washington isn't working for the American people and Washington does too many things for powerful special interests and the deal, you know, it, it's broken. And, and some of it is what Andrew was just talking about. They just like it when liberals are crying. So anybody who sticks a thumb in liberalism's eye, that's a good person. Uh, There's some of that in some of his supporters. I think that's true. But he was also sticking his thumb in the eyes of, of Paul Ryan. He yep. was also sticking his thumb... His, I mean, believe me, you yeah. know, Jeb the, Bush is like Oedipus at this point. I yeah. mean... <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Mrs. Bush, that was not a reference no, to No, no, was, no. Uh, <laughs> but, but just the blind part. But... Yeah. but <laughs> So he was sticking his fingers in the eyes of everybody, everybody in the establishment. So do you think that cable news and CNN, which you're a part of, is somewhat complicit in putting him in the White House? I mean, cable news did cover him like he was already the president before he was the president. And I would say that they went, made way too big a thing of Hillary's emails, the Clinton Foundation, all this bullshit. <laughs> I, I... I'm, I, I, I agree with, with Barney that uh, I think that the media has made a good turn, but I do think they have to own that path. I think that there's certainly, first of all, not the ombudsman for the entire media, uh, but, but I think that there are certainly fair critiques of the media when it comes to especially running a lot of the Trump rallies early on, start to finish, no editorial comments, just like, what is this? What are we doing here? And CNN did that. Fox did it. MSNBC did it. Um, and, and, I, and my boss, Jeff Zucker, has acknowledged that we did that too much uh, early on. I think that some of the toughest interviews that were done of President Trump and Hillary Clinton, for that matter, were on CNN. I mean, I know you saw my interview, turns out, coincidentally, the last one I ever did with him, uh, with when I pressed him on the Judge Curiel matter. Sure. Um, when I asked him about the Ku Klux Klan. And but that's not what I'm asking about. I, I, but however hard they were on him, they spent too much time on her and her bullshit. Those issues were bullshit. All right. I want to ask you one last thing, which is about the correspondence dinner. Yeah. Trump is not going. You go. Right? I go. It's a company dinner. Okay. <laughs> so here are some things Trump has called uh, reporters. Dishonest, discredited, disaster, dwindling, dummy, dope, crazy, clown, neurotic, mess, boring, bias, no talent, loser. Sloppy, grubby, third... Grubby. <laughs> Third-rate, sad, fake, tanking, fraud, pathetic, phony, terrible, negative, one-sided, troublemakers, crooked scum, and, of course, sad. <laughs> Why aren't you going? <laughs> Why aren't you going, Donald Trump? Um, uh, he does have a way with words. I, I... <laughs> Is this a scandal that he doesn't go? No. Okay, good. I don't think... It doesn't bother me that he's not going. The truth of the matter is... It's a great uh, dinner for the scholarship uh, that it, that it right. pays for journalism students. It's a great dinner to recognize good journalism. Um, I think that most of us in Washington probably feel a little ambivalent about the whole idea of... Yeah, schmoozing with the, schmoozing. With the people who you're supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, so it's and just I think, as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's any no. great affrontery to democracy that he's not coming. I, I, I think it's, it's fine. I'm sure Vice President Pence will fill the role well. <laughs> Keep holding their feet to the fire. Thank you, sir. I'm I appreciate it. Enjoying watching it, Thank as you. I always have.